Okay, so. the Niners had seven alternates. Mm-hmm. They were Lakin Tomlinson, Alex Mack, mm-hmm. Trenton Cannon, Eric Armstead, Fred Warner, Mitch Wisnowski, Jimmy Ward. What do you think? Seven. Um, Alex Mack, that one kind of doesn't feel right. Lincoln Tomlinson has a real claim. Lincoln Tomlinson has Lincoln. a real claim to be a, a, a pro bowler, though. I like, think it was his best year on the Niners. He was really right. good this year. Yeah. Trent Cannon, that one I don't get. Um, yeah, really. I mean, I'm happy that he's recovered and everything as well. Like, I'm not trying to take a shot at him or anything like that. But he's it's just good, like to his credit, he's good at, at uh, covering kicks as well as returning them. Okay. So maybe yeah. that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Jimmy Ward obviously deserves yeah. to be there. Eric Armstead. Hmm. That one's a little that's curious. surprising. I mean, he doesn't have numbers like he doesn't put up stats but he is a good player i'm surprised he had that reputation yeah i think that i think, I think that deserving. it's it's name yeah i think so yeah he's like he's well, he's yeah. he's having an impact like he's have like he's he's impacting the games without having stats right like there is right. a way that that happens like you yeah you know you you pushing someone into another gap where there's another yeah. defender right like that sort of thing right yes. um i know that that's not what everybody likes and that's not what's sexy especially when you look at his contract but you know i, I can point to that and say that that's that's fair mitch yeah. Wisnowski, come on man like I, someone explain to me why I, did the not what is it about him is it his net yard i mean does he does he have good numbers i'm no. sorry it's the it's the knuckle it's the knuckle punt. It's the legend of the knuckle the knuckle punt. <sighs> Whatever, man. Look, but hey, Pro Bowl alternates don't really count. Like, right. They don't, right? You're not really no. a Pro Bowler. And it's realistically for just whatever team makes the Super Bowl, and now you can be. And then there'll be injuries, and then there'll be guys who decline going. So they just got to fill the rosters out. So I mean, alternate, you can still be a Pro Bowler. Like you can still put that on your resume. But I think that we all agree that Pro Bowl is not really the way to to really judge players in terms of yeah. oh well he's been a pro bowler this long it's fan voting there's a lot of reputation guys that get in all the time realistically all pro is what you want to be as opposed to pro bowl and we're not we're going to find out uh, in in some time who the all pro players are how many how many all pros do you think the niners will get how many think they should get kittle juice trent bosa for zebo zebo should be all pro man i don't yeah. care what position you want to call him yeah, like Cooper Cup, Cooper Cup will make it, and so will Devontae Adams, right? Those are two from the NFC. I think it has to be Debo, right? There's going to be three receivers, I believe, or, or you know, again, make one for an offensive weapon. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with Debo because his receiving numbers have gone down, mm. but his impact has remained the same or gone up, so I'm curious to see what happens there. They better do the right thing with Debo and not act like he wasn't the best player on the Niners. Even the Niners say he's not their best player. They say Bosa is. I can see that. But Debo's right there, man. What He scores like a, a touchdown and a half a game. Where would they be without that? Yeah, right. that's why I, That's why he needs to be discussed in the MVP. Because Thank when you. things weren't going well early in the season, think about where they would have been without him. Yeah, they lost a lot of games with Nick Bosa. They they would have lost in I, I, they would have lost to Chicago without Debo Samuel doing oh, yeah. that thing that he did in the third 100%. quarter. 100%. 100%. 